Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix DirectX function error that is DXGI error device removed or DXGI error device hung. So if you are receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can delete this shader file. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder. Now if you have the game on EA app, click on manage and then click on view properties and then click on open folder it will take you to the game installation folder if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files this will also take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see shader cache folder open this folder and then find this file that is 2459419382 so you can find this file in the list so this is the one two four five nine four one nine three eight two you can create a backup first so you can copy this uh, file and then you can paste it somewhere just create a backup once you have a backup now you can delete this file you can make a right click and then you can delete it if you face any problem you can always put it back so delete it now you have to restart the game so you have to close the game and then launch the game once again now still facing the problem in that case you can delete the the contents of shader cache folder so this time you have to delete the complete folder so you can go back over here and then here you can see shader cache so before you delete it you can copy this folder uh, create a backup first now once you have a backup you can delete this make a right click and then you can delete it once this is deleted now launch the game once again and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you Next step is to set the shader cache size to 10 or 100 GB in NVIDIA control panel. So if you have, if you have NVIDIA graphic card, you can make a right click on the desktop, go to show more option and then go to NVIDIA control panel and then go to manage 3D settings and then go to global settings. Now over here, find shader cache. So here you can see shader cache size. Now you can set it to 10 GB or you can even try 100 GB and then you can check. So by default, it is set to like uh, auto or maybe driver. So you can set it to 10 GB or 100 GB. One, whenever you change it on the bottom right, make sure that you hit apply. And once this is done, you have to launch the game once again and then check. If that does not work, you can always set it to default. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. Now, do not ignore this. Go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and then download and install the latest BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to enable debug mode in nvidia control panel so go to nvidia control panel go to help option and then this put a check on debug mode once debug debug mode is selected now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bitdefender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then you can open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 go to update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through controlled folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game installed in c drive open c drive if you have the game on steam then open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now over here you will find the game folder in my case i have installed the game through EA app so I will open program files then open EA games and then open the game folder select the game exe file 
click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top and then click on allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so wherever the game is installed open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case uh, the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check so in my case the game is already added now the next step is to now if you have the not on uh, antivirus you can go to not on settings click on firewall go to program control tab and then select the game from the list if you don't see the game you can go to the game location add the game exe file and then launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder again go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can uncheck this box uncheck hit apply click on ok and then again go to properties go to this tab and then this time put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and scroll down over here select the nvidia card make sure that you select your graphic card over here select the right series and then select the right graphic card and then if you have the if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 then click on find now on this screen uh, here you will see the latest graphic card driver right now it's 566.03 click on view now over here you will see the download option click on download and once the download is complete over here you will see the download once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart the computer and then launch the game now amd card users can go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver but first of all you have to uninstall the current version uninstall the current version then go to amd website and then install the latest driver and then restart the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the launch option over here type in dash dx11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check still not working you can go to properties once again and this time you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now if you have the game on e app you can click on manage and then go to view properties and then in the advanced launch option over here you can type in dash dx11 click on save launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash dx12 now again you can click on save launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this save it and then follow the next step next step is to verify or repair the game files now for this if you have the game on eapp go to eapp 
and then click on the game over here click on manage and then you will see the repair option click on repair after the repair launch the game if you have the game on e app i don't have the game on e app i have the game on i i don't have the game on steam if you have the game on steam then make a right click on the game select properties and then you will see install files tab i've added this from e app so i don't have the game on steam so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the game folder and then select the exe file click on add and once the game is added you can search the game over here you can find the game from the list and then click on this down arrow and then here you can see let's windows decide you have to select high performance so select high performance over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is very important so go to windows up, update update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download this x86 x64 version so click on x86 and x64 version once the download is complete you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and you have to install this file as well so click on it again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once this is done you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheels pedals if you have space mouse connected if you have razor tartarus connected disconnect all the razor peripherals disconnect if you have any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it if you have any additional controller or joystick connected you can disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of third party application or software running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game and then properties and go to the launch option here you will see launch option in the launch option sorry um, make i don't have the game on steam so i'll show you with different game make a right click on the game select properties and over here you can see the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on you can turn this off and then check if you have any kind of other overlay application running like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have geforce experience running you can go to geforce experience settings and turn off in game overlay so close or, or simply you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of overclocking application running like msi afterburner reward you know so any kind of over overclocking application you can close it and then launch the game perform clean boot now for this you can type in system configuration in window search box and then go to system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game uh, you can disable here option in graphic option turn off frame generation try window mode and lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first so once you launch the game uh, you can go to settings and over here go to display now if window mode is set to borderless window uh, you can try window mode you can switch to window mode and then now if you are selecting full screen in that case you can lower down resolution if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more but in my case i will switch to window mode now we think i will turn it off and then check 
So try both off and on and then check which one is working fine for you. Now scroll down. Now over here you can see upscaling. Now here you can see NVIDIA DLSS. Now if you're using NVIDIA DLSS in that case you can set this to quality and then check. Now if you're using AMD like frame generation uh, sorry FSR if you're using AMD FSR in that case again you can set it to quality and then check. Now if you are using DLSS frame generation you can turn this off this has worked for many players so it might work for you you can turn off DLSS frame generation and then check. Nvidia reflex low reflex you can turn it off scroll down dynamic resolution scaling if this is on you can turn turn this off and then go to graphics option now graphics preset now if this is set to like high uh, or ultra you can set it to you can try medium over here you can try medium or you can even go for low quality i will set it to low you can try medium over here scroll down over here you will find stand here you can turn this off uh, this has worked for many players so it might work for you now also post processing quality you can set it to medium or low apply the settings and then you can check the performance now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so you can go to steam or ea app and then you can click on manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you 
to run the game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.